starts. I'll have a look at the tech tree in a sec. I think I've got quite a few Japanese DDs up to, or maybe a seven, I can't remember. I'll have to check. That literally sounds like a train. Autopilot mode disabled. Enjoy the grind. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the U servers. Kind of expected more action though, to be honest. November Papa, 39, 39 months. Crazy, insane, exciting months. Thanks for the entertainment. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for the support. And Megatronic, welcome back. So far, we can't find the enemy. Even though we've got a carrier with planes. How does that work? No, I've played it a lot a lot more since then, DeSoto. There's one. I think their team's playing it safe. Either that, or they've all gone anti-clockwise, and we're, we're all just basically doing this around the map. You know what, I think that's exactly what's happening. None of them have pushed around here at all. Attack! Enemy aircraft! I know, Arthur. Can't, I know I can't do that. And to get into 7.3 range without. I've been spotted. Okay, so he doesn't know I'm here. get detected. I'm not sure why I got detected then. I don't know if Jingle plays this game, DeSalter. I know he plays tanks a lot. Gonna be close, but I think it's gonna miss. Oh, that is so close! Look at that! Look at that! You lucky, lucky boy! Attention, reporting the target position. Oh, he does play warships.
Rosty's getting pounded though. Not good. Smoke generator started. This requires less reflexes. Smoke screen set. Wait, OS4, he hardly plays Wall of Tanks now. For real? Why? That's like his entire channel is built on tanks. So what, he plays this more now, does he? Interesting. All stations. Why? It's a warship's community contributor. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. You die, Mrs. Frosty. You went out on point a little bit. Oh, I tried to smoke and, and protect you a bit, but... Gave up my tanks and most of the relationship with wargaming over the Sir Folk incident. Welcome back. I, I don't even know what that is. Did he basically fall out with the team then? But surely Warships is made by the same people as World of Tanks, right? Different dev team studio. Just tons of videos for tanks because everyone's sending footage. Just doesn't play much. Ah, okay. So he's one, he's turned into one of those channels that shows other people's footage. Need to get this carrier. The question is, can I get to the carrier? That were being spotted. Well, the answer is I think I can. I am so vulnerable here. I'm in the top corner of the map. I've been detected. Smoke generator started. They're all going to be heading over here now. No problem, Jesse. Engine boost activated. <laughs> I'm so vulnerable.
If you live through this, it'd be divine intervention. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Man, how did he dodge all those torps? Oh, he took one. Bug out now. I'm on like five hit points. This is insane. Engine boost deactivated. Oh, wait him again. He's so annoyed with me. I caused him major damage then. Let's go back for this carrier. Well, it was divine intervention. I almost killed him off. Hey, I'm not dead yet. I can still cause damage, devil dude. Still cause plenty of problems. Yeah, I don't think he can repair yet. He's still he's still taking damage from the flooding, I think. Oh god no. I think the um I think this guy's just run aground. Gone. They're well off, there's no way. Torpedo uh, planes are coming in. He's going to have a lot of torpedoes going on him. That's amazing that you managed to dodge all that. I didn't get the final kill for the little donut, but you know. Considering I had like that much hit points left. We did okay. I caused some damage anyway. He's got fancy camo, so he might be a good player. Or money. I, guys, I don't know the story of... Um, of what happened. So I don't know how he was treated. Let's swap two more in. Okay, what have we got here? 3000 XP.
Long story, but they threatened a U true copyright strike against him. Right. Kitty Raccoon. Thank God and data. So what was the basis of the copyright strike threat? Like, what were they saying that he'd done wrong that warranted a copyright strike? Or was he like... what? What's the backstory? Was he voicing his opinion about something and they didn't like it? Or... And was it a copyright strike against Jingles or a copyright strike against this uh, folk guy? I don't know anything about this story. He badmouthed... Okay, who did? Jingles or this uh, folk guy? Again, right, okay. So he badmouthed the premium. Created a video on a tank review and said a lot of negative things. One of the devs of World of Tanks threatened a lawsuit. Okay. Yeah. I must admit, if any dev did that to me, I wouldn't play their games again either. Because it's like a really pathetically cheap way of silencing somebody, isn't it? That's what you're doing. We don't like you criticising our game. We're going to shut it down via the action of YouTube copyright claims. It's like using it as a weapon, which is what it's not designed for. So is that why Jingles doesn't play? Because he kind of... The principle he has the principle that if they're going to do this to this guy, then I don't want to know. I don't want to play this game anymore. Is that what he was saying? You went over what was opinion on a new premium tank at the time. When they introduced the Chrysler GF tank, one person with war game threatened him with a copyright strike. Yeah, it doesn't matter what his opinion was. He's entitled to have it. Jungus left the Wargaming CC program over... But he came back after half a year. This World of, oh, World of Warships one, gotcha. But they're all, they're all the same company, aren't they? Autopilot mode in a Isn't Wargaming just like... Don't they own all of it? Here's the thing, they give these guys the new premium tanks to super test and they get mad when they get... Give an honest opinion. Well... I, the way I see this, and I'm just hearing about this story right now... Okay, you're right, they gave him a bunch of free stuff, right? He then bad mouths it. So they get angry at him for doing that. I understand all of that. So what, what should they do about it? Well, they could say to him, look, mate, we don't like that video. We don't like what you're saying. We're going to take away your press account, or whatever it is. You just have a normal account because we don't want to do this anymore. You know? <laughs> if that's what they want to do. Or they basically pick up the phone and have a conversation with him. But threatening him with a copyright strike is absolutely... It's not the last thing they should do. It's the thing they should never do. Because that... That gets the backup of people who are not even involved, like people like me. Anybody who's using YouTube is going to get really upset if a developer or publisher starts using that as a weapon. It doesn't matter what the reason is. He made a rant about the company as a whole. Yeah, but again, he's entitled to do this, isn't he? He's, he's, he, he's an independent person. He's a content creator independence of that company. He's allowed to say whatever he likes. They may not like it. They may not agree with it. Torpedoes astern. It's what not sponsored, Ritzy. Me playing this game? Dude, you know the, you know how this works. If I have a sponsored thing, I tell you. I tell you straight away. It would be in the title. For a kickoff, I would say sponsored by whatever. This is not sponsored. This is me playing this game. Torpedoes astern. Torpedoes to starboard.
That's not how I roll, Ridzy. Some people make sponsored videos on YouTube and they don't tell you about it. That happens a lot. More than you might think. That's not me. Wargaming threatened a uh, copyright with censorship. They tried to censor his opinion. That's exactly what it was, OS4. That's exactly what it what it is they're doing. I miss you saying delivery in that high pitched voice when sending out the talks. <laughs> oh dear, bud. I think we should chuck some more fallen games down the middle, though. Well, this is true, Moderon. And also, a lot of the um, a lot of the ratings and comments on Amazon products now, they're all being paid for. It's, uh, it's the game. He wasn't claiming that he owned anything that they have. He did not use it to benefit himself on his behalf. Okay, I don't understand that. Lone DD is going to get picked off. This guy's crazy. Was gonna happen. Our victory is in sight. All right, let's push, push south. I don't think we're gonna get much action Engine in this game. Activated. You're a freelance copywriter, and I've lost count a number of times I've had sellers try to buy reviews. Yeah. Oh no. We swing around the back before they all die. They won't be expecting this. Spotted? Change of plan? This guy's brave. He's got like ships aiming straight at him and he's just stood there going, yeah, come on, bring it. I don't think he's moving. CAFK or something. I think he must be AFK. Yeah, target prices, <laughs> exactly.
Smoke screen set. I have a worse opinion about Kixai and their practices. That's why I support Wargaming. I don't know what Kixai is, to be honest. Oh, I reckon he's going to turn this way. Torpedoes here, what are you talking about? Delivery! Oof! <laughs> That's smarted. <laughs> double, double torped him. I didn't get the kill, but I smashed his health down. <laughs> you spilled your drink. <laughs> hey, Kamikaze Pug. How you doing? You just passed what? What did you pass? Yeah, A plus third. Congrats, man. What's my plan? Cat B. Cat B and uh, catch anything coming out of that channel, though. I think we'll push out and try and find the remaining ones. I like this little little town. Look at this. This is cool. They've even got little vehicles on there and stuff. It's like a model village. How many have they got left? I think they're on the other side of the island. No problem, Pug. Engine boost activated. Shell the town. Can't kill civilians. We've got a cap, so it'll be game over. Our victory is in sight. He might be AFK, yeah. Does that mean next game he'll be pink? Because he went to AFK. Well, somebody, Scott, somebody said that um, you go pink for team killing and if you're AFK. Did 
detected by someone. Must be him. I don't think my torps are going to get there. How do you jump between a torpedo? It's not cursor keys. Oh, are you going to kill him before my torp hits, you scumbags? You absolute scumbags. No, let me let me get let me get the kill. Let me get the kill. Let me get the kill. No, oh, it was like ten meters. Ten meters that shell. Ah, I got robbed. You get bad karma. My talk was so close to that kill then. Still run. 4,000 XP. Grinding it to seven. Come on, Giddy. You get and lose karma thanks to other players complimenting and reporting you. Oh, how is that going to work? Like, seriously. People, I can understand people reporting you. That happens all the time. How many people are going to compliment? When a ship runs out of hit points, she's destroyed. Well, I never knew that. It's a good job that's on there as a tip. Set an example. Compliment your MVPs. I don't even know how you do it. Do you know what? This is like um, this is like a cheap movie rain. Do you know what cheap movie rain looks like? It's when somebody gets a shower. They like they have this thing where they they spray water in the air. And it drops it in front of you like this. So you get this kind of rain directly in front of the camera. But in the distance, because there's no rain, it doesn't, like, visibility doesn't degrade massively. So it's this horrible cheap rain effect. And you're just better off not doing it. Because it never works. <laughs> wow, why is it only 5v5? What's going on here? So we'll, they would start top left, presumably. Engine boost activated. Autopilot mode disabled. I wonder if the middle sector is going to get action. Like this bit here. Honestly, the, in any competitive game, you get people who report people in tears and stuff. And it usually revolves around them losing. So by my reckoning, their DDs will be there now. I 
it's busy up there. Flipping egg. I wonder if I can be super, super cheeky. And like push through there and come round the back and cap that. I wonder if they'll all like leave the, the flag behind. Engine boost deactivated. I think it's worth looking at. He's in the cap zone. They've not vacated it completely. Is that guy stationary? Dang it. Can't. This is annoying. I can't top him. It's gonna ram me. I have, apparently haven't got any engine left. I'm not really sure what happened then, but I think my I think my engine went or something because I couldn't move. I was incapacitated by something. I'm not entirely sure what, and then he just, he got the opportunity to ram me. I couldn't torp him because I can't torp a DD. But it's it's weird the way he sat behind that rock. The enemy team has taken the lead. I mean, he could have been waiting for people to come over, that's fair enough, but... But I didn't, where did I take the enemy fire from? Thank you for the rehost again, Boat Black. That was the shortest game I've had today. I think it was, it, what I was trying to do was a high risk, high reward scenario. Because the reward the reward is very simple. If I'd have got through that, if I'd have made it through that, I would have caused mayhem back here. But the risk was that I get intercepted and I got intercepted. I think that's us three out. <laughs> Rip. We pushed. Scum by camping. Well, yes and no. Maybe what I just did was a common thing and he was he was camping against that, but he's a destroyer, like, the kind of, that's the kind of thing they should be doing, you know, kind of just running out and ganking people. So does anybody else? Right, so Mad Mix been in once. How come there's names here that are not showing on the right? Jilly Willis, how you doing, sir? Uh, the password to join the channel is nuts and UTS in lowercase. Yeah, they've massively improved these, haven't they? Look at that, it's pretty pretty nice that is.
Yeah, I thought we'd go back to some warships, Chili. It's good fun. Oh, a premium port. Yeah, it could be. I bought 24 as a premium. Nah, I stopped playing Kerbal Space Quantum. I kind of... I don't know what it is, but I loved... I loved Kerbal Space in the early days. But somewhere along the line, it kind of... It changed. I don't know. Not to mention the EULA. <laughs> Come on, give me my ship back. Right, let's have a look at the tech tree while I'm here. See what um, techs I've got. So Germany, I've got a three. Russia, I've got a four. USA, I'm down to the Omaha cruiser. Japan, I'm on tier six. Tier 6 Destroyer and a Tier 5 Minikaze. I haven't got any of them. Yeah. Might get down the French cruisers at some point as well. Forza Horizon 4. Not sure, Grumpy. Peter Kerr, thank you for 34 months. Trained, welcome back. Megatronic, welcome back. Profile, what the heck is this? <laughs> stats, stats, and more stats. What's this campaign thing? Is that is that what you were talking about? Where you have to be like tier five or tier six or something, and you go up against AI with a bunch of friends? Two fun six seven eight is so much fun it should be illegal. <laughs> you can use your Huang here to train your Frau Rang captain. Dude, I have no idea how to do that. What's Huang here? Huang here. Have you thought of driving a 2,000 horsepower Renault down that quarry in Mexico from today's video? Um, no. Huang He is your premium ship, an Asian ship. Oh, this guy, okay. So... Have you thought about... You can put normal captains to the premium ship for free without having to pay any movement fees as long as you move it back to the ship it came from. Happy anniversary, Nata. If you assign your Frauan captain to that ship, it will train it. What? Why will it train it? I don't understand. Why will put in my... I don't understand what you're trying to do here. I don't get it. Your frontline captain, which is this guy. So you put him you put him in the premium ship. Why does that train it? But it only trains it when you take it out, surely. Assigned to uh, 
So you think I should assign him into here? Is that what you're saying? One reason for getting a premium is that you can put commanders into the ship and they get extra XP when you play the premium ship. Right. Gotcha. So we put him into there. So he's now, he's now in there, right? He's also got a point to spend, doesn't he? Okay, so how do I put a captain into here now? Where's my, uh, where's my roster of captains? Because that guy's sat on the bench. Is this him? Uh, Signed to... Start retraining. For, for how much? Two hundred thousand. This is not a free move. This is very true. This is not a free move at all, is it? So what was the point of this, exactly? You're moving a premium captain onto a non-premium ship. Yeah, because I have no captain now. Because I just put him into the other ship. I, I don't have a captain. I don't want to play the premium ship. <laughs> Just to wait your word the camera, I don't think it was so hard to understand. <laughs> okay, so a supersonic baguette. I don't have a captain in this ship now. Right, so what am I meant to be doing here? Bringing the premium captain in? Or swapping this guy back out and ignoring the whole thing. Wait, where did my, um, where did my camo go? You have to buy it every time. Why is my camo gone? Do you have to buy that every single time you play? There's an automatic resupply chip. It's all disabled at the moment. It's just a way of grinding your money down, isn't it? <laughs> Automatically bleed you down. I, I take it if your ship gets destroyed, then you have to pay to put the camo back on. But if your ship doesn't get destroyed, presumably you keep the camo. Is that true? Calbert, thank you for the host. Yes, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 